Lizzie is now in theaters, and this for sure is an independent film um, that most notably stars Christine Stewart. Um, she plays a maid in this film, and this is a film that it's at its core, it's a murder mystery film because what happens is um, this husband and wife get killed, and everyone thinks that the daughter did it, but the question is, did she do it? And more importantly, this made from her perspective, as well as Lizzie's perspective, what happened, you know? And that's what the heart of the film is kind of focusing on, uh, particularly their relationship, the maid and uh, Lizzie's relationship. But this is actually based on a true story. Uh, I didn't know that going into this film. I just thought it was like a period piece film that, you know, that old people would be interested in. And I have to say, I, I was surprised to find that um, there are a lot of elements in it that Although, sure, they hit those beats of, like, I like to call old people period dramas. There's also a dark underbelly to this film. Like, there is violence in this film, and it is it is pretty gruesome, I have to say. Like, even some, even though most of it is off-screen, the aftermath that is shown, it's like, oh, wow. But this is a film in all the little details. It's a nuanced film. It, it, it has some stuff to say, but overall, I didn't get a lot out of it. Just going to be honest. But I do think the acting is top notch. I think Christine Stewart, this is her first film that I saw when I was like, oh, she can act. She can act. You know, like I've seen her in a lot of stuff. You know, I've seen her in the first Twilight movie, first 15 minutes. I'll be honest, that's all I could get through. Um, Snow White and the Huntsman, I saw it. her acting was not good in that. Still, Alice, she was all right. But this is the first film, Lizzie, where I was actually like, wow, like she can act. And I liked, I liked her performance. I think she was the standout for me um, because it's a nuanced performance, which is the name of the game with this film. Um, I also liked how this film got better as it went along. Like, I'll be honest, the first half, I really wasn't the biggest fan of. I thought it was way too slow and uh, dull. But the second half really picked up. And I liked that part about it because it's, it's just, it makes the experience more positive, even though as a whole, it's a little uneven. But... I also really like the costume design. This is the type of film that is all about the costumes and the little details, as I mentioned. But the costume design is top notch. Same with the makeup, um, the score. It's it's all right. But again, I think the biggest negative, at least the biggest takeaway I got from the film, that if someone were to tell me, what are your thoughts on Lizzie? I would say it's a well-acted film that gets better as it goes along. But that first half just can't make the film as a whole, a great film. It just, it really hampers it. Um, and also, again, I think that the messages of this film really aren't that interesting or even worth noting, unfortunately, um, other than, um, again, I can't even spoil it, the messages. But um, if you have any questions about the messages, you know, ask me in the comment section down below because, you know, I'll be more than happy to explain why the messages kind of like, they got to me, I'll be honest. They were, they, they were there, but I feel as though they kind of got lost in the shuffle. But at the very end, they're like, oh, yeah, this is kind of the message. It's like, eh. I just kind of wish it went more. Um, but in the end of the day, Lizzie, it gets a light recommendation from me. Um, I think it's worth watching if you like period dramas and like a little dash of murder in them. Um, so Lizzie will be getting a three and a half and a five star rating from me. Or for those that like a hot sauce grade, Texas Pete hot sauce. Yep. Means, uh, you know, a couple preservatives, but besides that, it still gets the job done and, uh, you know, recommendable. So, guys, Lizzie, did you see it? Have you ever heard of it? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.